Prince Harry has been very vocal about his fear of being chased by the paparazzi and that his wife would meet the same fate as his mother. Well, last night, after an event during which Meghan received a humanitarian award, the couple says they were chased by photographers. As Stephen Fabian reports, Harry and Meghan say it was a near catastrophic ordeal. Meghan and Harry say they are traumatized today after what they describe as a two-hour relentless pursuit by highly aggressive paparazzi through the streets of Manhattan. Near catastrophic is how their spokesman describes the chase. They're clearly very shaken up. The drama started after Meghan and Harry left an MS Foundation gala at the Ziegfeld Theater in Midtown, where Meghan was honored. After the event, they climbed into an SUV with photographers scrambling for the perfect shot. When they pulled away, a dozen paparazzi reportedly gave chase. Witnesses describe a wild scene as photographers on motorbikes and scooters drove on the sidewalk, causing pedestrians to scatter. There's scooters and motorcycles running in between them, ahead of them, crossing in front of them. Mm -hmm. Um, they're trying to create some distance, and this is becoming worse and worse. The chase started at 54th Street and went across the city to the FDR Drive. Meghan and Harry's driver then drove up and down the FDR Drive in an attempt to shake the paparazzi because they didn't want them to find out where they were staying. After about an hour, Harry and Meghan apparently gave up trying to lose the photographers and finally came here to the 19th police precinct seeking refuge. The cops actually blocked the street off on both ends in an effort to keep the paparazzi at bay. Megan and Harry abandoned their SUV and with Megan's mother, Doria, jumped into this cab. That's their security officer pleading with the paparazzi to back off. Guys, let's get some space, okay? Inside the cab, Megan and Doria look concerned, while Harry has his phone raised videotaping the photographers. Moments later, the cab takes off with the NYPD following closely behind, sirens blaring. The drama is being compared to the night Princess Diana lost her life in 1997 after a high-speed chase in Paris. She too was being pursued by paparazzi when her driver, who was later found to be drunk, crashed into a concrete pillar. He knows what her last moments will have been like, and so I think it will have been incredibly upsetting to find himself not just in that situation alone, but with his wife and mother-in-law. But some are expressing deep skepticism today at Meghan and Harry's description of the chase as near catastrophic. Megan Kelly tweeted, I lived in Manhattan for 17 years, and it is not possible to have a two-hour car chase there. Too many streetlights, stop signs, too much foot car traffic. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. But if it's a 10 minutes, a 10-minute chase is extremely dangerous in New York City. The taxi driver is speaking out, and he's downplaying the drama. Did you feel like you were in danger? No, no. It's the, New York City is the safest place to be, right? And there's police stations, there's cops on every corner, so there's no need to be afraid. The couple's spokesperson said in a statement today, while being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety.